What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today's um video, I ain't gonna lie. We don't really got that much to do, but I'm gonna give y'all a little fit check real quick. So as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? We got the pink balaclava on again, you feel me? Don't mind all the stuff in the back. That's my girlfriend's stuff. We got, you know what I'm saying? Some regular jeans and some uh some CDGs on. You feel what I'm saying? Ever since I got the tat though, I ain't gonna lie. Ever since I got the tat, I can't stop throwing the fours up, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yesterday I got my nails clean too. Don't mind that trash can. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta throw that out. But I got my nails clean yesterday, you feel me? It is not bad to get your nails not done, but clean is very good maintenance. Hold on, let me get some lighting. It's very good maintenance, y'all. Make sure I keep your nails clean. You know what I'm saying? Tats look good. You know what I'm saying? I look good, but we about to go to uh, Willow Grove real quick because I got to get a book bag. Either a book bag or, I ain't gonna lie, like a couple of weeks ago, my brother, he just showed me these pants, like some uh some like windbreaker, like Nike pants or whatever. And I'm like, yo, them joints hot. And he was like, yeah, they got gray, black, tan, whatever. So it's between a book bag and a, and a pants, yo. I ain't gonna lie. It's 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 a decision between my needs and my wants. And, and the wants is winning. I'm an irresponsible adult, but don't label me as such. You feel what I'm saying? I'm about to hop in this car. Uh, I'm about to actually walk out. Just got dressed. Let me give y'all another fit check again. You know what I'm saying? And I got the drastic tee on. Shout out my man, drastic. I feel like the outfit's dirty today. We stepping a little bit out of our element, but uh, I'm going to hit y'all up. And that's my laundry and shit right there. My basket downstairs. But uh, I'm going to see y'all in the next clip. All right. What is going on, y'all? I just got to Dick's. Pause. Bro, whoever named this story Dicks, I just feel like you got some like real personal reflecting that you gotta do. Cause like what made you came up with that? Like, if your name is Dick Man, I feel bad for you, bro. Cause you probably got the worst nickname. Like somebody could literally call you dickhead, and then you gotta be like, Well, that's my name. Like that's crazy. But uh, I was listening to the Drake album on the way here. And I feel like my top three songs are 7969, All the Parties with Chief Keep. That shit was hot. And um, uh, what's that other joint called? I think it's called Virginia Beach. It was my top three. Drop y'all top five in the comments. But um, yeah, today I told y'all we had to go book bag shopping and stuff like that. So I'm about to walk in here to see what they got. Another little fit check before we go find a book bag session. Talk a little loud, but not too loud because you know when they get quiet, they get awkward. Okay, so see, I came to the book bag session and I'm already seeing some crazy ass shit. Like, look at this $92 for this? For this shit? Yeah, by the way, my tattoo peeling, y'all. That's probably like the worst stage of it. And my hand looks so nice, y'all. Shout out my girl for going with me too, but these are nice. Like these Nike pants, I can't really see myself wearing anything but black. But, you know, being a fashion icon, I gotta be a little versatile. But this is something I'll never fucking wear. I mean, well, I don't know. With some forces, I don't know. Somebody calling my phone. Oh, hold on, who calling me? Uh oh. I'm at, uh, I'm at Dick Sporting Goods. I'm looking for a book bag. But I'm, I'm trying to get some pants too. I don't know trying to figure it out some pants like some uh some windbreaker pants like remember the jones i was telling you a jordan guy yeah them jones they sturdy so i was thinking if i could grab them jones but i'm trying to look for them and book bags and i'm vlogging too <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for some Nike like windbreaker pants, like some black or tan or some gray ones. Alright, um, I'm gonna take a walk with you and Alright, but you know, uh, athletes be getting paid, huh? Y'all gotta pay 75 for this? For barely any padding? That shit is crazy. Got on my man Ryan for helping me find the pants, you feel what I'm saying? Thorough shit, but second day on the job, you know what I'm saying? You know, we all been in that position, but let's get back to the video. All right, y'all, so I'm thinking about getting these pants. These, like, some windbreaker type of pants. 
Let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments. I'm about to uh, try to go see if I can um, try these bitches on. So let me know. One through ten in the comments, y'all. Make sure that, like, when y'all come shopping, right, and make sure y'all go to the fitting room, bro, because you don't want to buy clothes that don't fit you, and then you go home, and then the shit don't fit, and now you got to find a receipt, and then you got to take it back to the store, you got to go through the entire process, and now you done learned your lesson, and then you got to go to the fitting room. So make sure y'all go to the fitting room, and I think I just found it. Yep, they're open. So we about to go in here. Oh, let's get a camera angle real quick. I ain't gonna lie, this balaclava be getting in my eye sometimes. So like, bro, I can't stop throwing the fours up, bro. I'm sorry, bro, I'm sorry. Yo, this fit hard, y'all. This fit is hard. Can't tell me this fit in the hard, but you about to try these bitches on. See y'all later. A few moments later. So how we feeling about the pants? I think they a little too big. Like, especially, like, you know what I'm saying? I look like Mick Jagger or somebody or fucking, like, like, fucking, uh, what's that nigga named, that rapper? The nigga that used to do this? I forget cuz name, but this is a terrible fit. Like, none of this shit even coordinate. But I'm just trying on the pants. But these are a medium. I cannot fit these bitches. So, we body, we, bro, I can't even talk, bro. We probably about to, uh, Go back out there and um, get a smaller pair of pants. And yeah, be right back, y'all. Yo, so let me know how y'all feel about these. But this is something I'll never fucking wear. Cap. I'm not getting them, but. Cap. I just wanted to see how they look on the body. I don't really like stuff that stays slim to my body as much. Not unless like it complement the outfit, but you know what I'm saying? The, the ankle is a little too, a little too tight, bit, bro. You feel me? But. Yeah, y'all. Uh, I'm not getting these, but let me know what y'all feel about these. Down in the comedy. <laughs> Bro, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like, I'm looking for a book bag so I can carry my laptop and shit, bro. But these joints, like, what the fuck? Like, bro, come on, dog. Bro, nobody's buying this shit, bro. That's why I was, like, still fully stocked. Look at this. It's all duffel bags, bro. And then on top of that, I'm asking everybody except my man. Uh, boy, I just shouted out. Uh, you my man. You my man. I forgot your name already, but you my man. Got my man Ryan for helping me find the pants. You feel what I'm saying? But everybody got like they spirit so low. But I ain't gonna let nobody. Uh, I ain't gonna let nobody um take my spirit down, cause that's not the type of person I am. Cap. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, Deion Sanders been making me want to play football. I think I can do it. Y'all think I can go pro? Shit, I'd probably be better than Travis Hunter. You, you, you never know. Five, six, nigga like me, shit. You don't know what to expect. Shit, I'll grab some pads right now. Say I won't grab pads right now. Say I won't grab pads right now, bro. Like, I'm really in that fucking mood, bro. Like, i grab pads right the fuck now, yo. Real shit. All right, y'all, so we ain't find nothing in the store. This store just ass, or maybe it's God telling me I need to save some money. I don't know, y'all, but um, we about to, uh, I ain't want to walk in the cuz, I ain't going to lie. I get real awkward around niggas that just keep looking at me. They just kept looking at me, bro. We out of this bitch, bro. This store don't got nothing. No book bags, no, not even no pants, bro. I couldn't even find the pants, but I'm going to be back for y'all. I'm going to probably go in the mall and get something to eat because I'm hungry. So I'll be right back. All right, what's good, y'all? I just got my food and stuff like that. Always make sure, like, before you eat, you know what I'm saying, you say your grease. It's just a calm little day. Mmm, this is good shit. I came to Master Walk at Willow Grove. And I got some honey sesame and some, um, some General Souls chicken, bro. That shit good. It's overrated, but it's still good. Couldn't find nothing in the uh, in the store. I was really looking for a book bag. Then I ended up trying clothes and shit. Trying on clothes. Stop playing with me. I got a bag. Hope y'all staying motivated too, man. Stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? 
stay focused on the goal at all times don't let nothing distract you from what you really want in life you feel what i'm saying i'm still in a position where i'm still chasing what i want but i'm patient though i'm still learning to be patient i pray every day for patience and you know what i'm saying just to have like a, a a positive mindset about everything that i'm going through and to work even with zero results y'all that's probably one of the most important things in any journey is to work with no results because once you get you eventually going to get there with enough dedication and enough commitment to what you do and to what you consider to what your craft is but you got to be patient and you got to work with uh even when there's no results y'all. so just keep going i'm gonna eat my food we all just bitch yeah <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, so I just, uh, I just got some cologne and shit from this, uh, from this kiosk and shit. But uh, yeah, y'all. I'm about to be on my way home. Really don't have any more plans, plan for the rest of the day. And I got some big news, y'all. I got some big news. Nothing is finalized yet. Uh, still working out some of the, uh, some of the deals and stuff like that. Trying to be, uh, you know, careful with everything and make sure I know what I'm doing. But it's something big coming, y'all. I got something planned for y'all, but um, about to leave them all, you feel what I'm saying? A little calm, little day, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Everybody need a day like this where you just get out and you do shit. I'm going to do this till the day I die, bro. Especially when I get rich, nigga. I'm going to buy the whole mall out, but y'all just got to get me there. But, um, yeah, y'all, look at these fucking plushies. Look at these plushies, y'all. This nigga look like Spooderman or something. His ugly ass. But, uh, yeah, yo, we about to be out this job. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure I share it, too. You know what I'm saying? Get the video out there. Uh, yeah. And I dress way better than you, young boy. So, at, at any point, if you was dicking me throughout this video, that was for your bitch ass. But we out this job. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe. I can't talk. I love y'all. Uh, before I end the video, I just want to say, uh... Make sure I get y'all girls something. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, don't do the bare minimum. Don't work to be that bare minimum nigga. Because they're going to know you to be that bare minimum nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? Get your girl some flowers, something like that. And be thoughtful. That's all I want to say. I love y'all. Me, my evil twin, we one in the same. Shout